uh, sideline. Ossie Barrett making a switch already, it's underway. The ball breaking down as far as the Clyde him in and uh, down goes the wing forward. But uh, Jeremy H or, uh, Fergal Cochran gathers it for Valley Rovers off his left foot down the side of the field here towards uh, Huey O'Donovan, 45 metres off and goal a little bit further now as he moves out to make an angle from Jeffy's Canty tearing down the uh, open channel if you like and Canty still moving forward. I never saw him with the left, I've done seen him at the right, all right, and then he kicks it off his right foot, it's over the bar. And the opening score of the game from Kevin Canty coming after 25 seconds. And the lying ball is accruing to Valley Rovers, we'll give you teams in a moment but uh, certainly it has been non-stop action since this one began all of uh, four minutes ago and it's Valley Rovers who have the only score in the game and the ball being won there by Fergal Coughlin the man from Valley Coughlin tearing out there and uh, running into a trouble I'm telling you one thing and uh, he goes down heavily on that occasion as it, the advantage is now with Fiona Shea as he throws the ball across the party Kassan Kassan can put this onto his left and he throws it a lovely ball inside and uh, no Leo Dunman got a touch on it and so too is Kevin uh, um, Alan Quirk, but Noli O'Donnell would appear to be down injured as the ball is gathered there by uh, the, uh, the Clyde Roversman as they come in search of uh, the equalising score. The ball, a uh, referee blowing the whistle, awarding a free in in the evening. Echo sponsored intermediate, premier intermediate football championship final. The kick from Paddy Kazan is it going to go over the bar? I wonder, it comes off and over the bar. And that is a good stuff for the men from uh, Kenty from uh, Ro Russell Hill, the half hour line. From uh, Fan Hoshe Nolan, centre half forward Jeremy Hurley from Skivanish and Ty Burke from Banner, the full forward line Willie Burke. Well, he's from uh, he's the village man on the team and Fika Lynch up there. Uh, and trying to get a uh, Rockford or Highford or one of those areas and Huey Dunn and the Banner man. And uh, that completes uh, both sets of teams here as we watch Paddy Kissan tearing out. Yeah, giving a lovely ball over there at the far side of the field, which is well gathered, it must be said, by Conor O'Sullivan. The, uh, Patrician Academy student laying it off as far as Morris O'Brien and O'Brien then a uh, good move up the field and O'Brien laying it off as far as O'Sullivan again and there's a pass inside if it comes surely then a foul there referee he can course and the free will be in and this could be the end of his right foot from the 30 metre line he strikes on his side this could be dangerous I took the token deflection if there was a beach ball around the place and if there was Liverpool it could be in the back of the net out there comes Dahi Lynching it's just stirring out Hello taking a right belt there but uh, give the ball as far as Owen Manning Owen Manning give it to Brian Lee Hanley Hand lose it but uh, Paddy Kassan with there take it away from him and the tackle comes in and Kassan still goes forward good play by him but Noli O'Donnell comes back and uh, recovers and gathers that one very well indeed and he works it out to Fergal Coughlin Fergal Coughlin to Dennis Collins Dennis Collins trying to get it uh, out the field and Collins going a little bit of a solo run and running into a little bit of trouble he needs to get this one away and uh, on this occasion Dennis Collins will be disappointed uh, about that particular effort because the referee there adjured that he overcarried it and the free will be in and I'm sure that the free taker they have a number of them and Paddy Kassan has now taken over that role completely James Murphy did a lot of kicking in the uh, first half of the game against uh, Bantry when he pointed four points in all uh, two from play and two from freeze but uh, that's uh, all consigned to the uh, history bin right now as uh, Paddy Kassan has an opportunity more or less in front of goal about uh, 30 metres out to slot this one over the bar as uh, he looks up at the scoreboard well I'm doubt if he's looking up at it we're doing that and the kick is over the bar and that is a good kick out will be coming from uh, Alan Quirk return from his honeymoon to uh, take part in this match and Quirk drives it from the 20 metre line a long long ball out the field it must be said and it's broken down over there who's going to gather that one it looks like Owen Manning Manning the Valley Rovers midfielder running into a little bit of trouble giving it to Canty and it's taken away and away from Clyde Rovers this is a good play by Clyde uh, Rovers John O'Hanlon to Fionn O'Shea these are all Clyde men Fionn O'Shea trying to find the corner man above or maybe find the full man and he finds the corner man in James Murphy and Murphy tearing through putting it onto his left foot and uh, there it comes out comes Alan Quirk Quirk onto his right foot and out he gives it to Kevin Canty in the right corner back position anybody peeling off for Canty I wonder would be the caller on the place Canty coming to the half back line a right half back gives it quickly to Dennis Collins Collins uh, uh, Dennis doing the return pass to Canty and then down the line it goes as far as Fergal Coughlin the man who has cut loose from the left half back position he goes on a solo run moving it forward and then tries to find Fika Lynch over there playing with an injury in this match and he puts it onto his right foot and Lynch is driving through playing through the pain barrier and the kick is coming in from Lynch and out for a wide ball he's calling the air that there was a touch on it and the uh, umpire is now agreeing with that assessment of the situation that it get a touch so it means it will be a 45 and Huey O'Donovan will uh, work is with uh, a man who's played in go over a long number of years and played well there to a fair the kick is coming in from Huey O'Donovan is it over the bar the 45 is going over from Huey O'Donovan and that's our uh, Jim as uh, we watch follow the action here and it comes to us Fergal Coughlin but uh, oh, Paddy Kassan there gathers it this is good play by Paddy Kassan Kassan puts it onto his right foot it would be a wonderful one to get over the bar it is a wonderful one I wonder it is over the bar and Paddy Kassan has kicked his top point of the goal will be on his way and uh, Alan Quirk will do the kick into the far side 
side of the field. Remember the price for this one as well as the uh, Premier Intermediate Football Championship trophy is at uh, Napo Stofton. And uh, it would appear now that another one of this one is taken as far as... Uh, Fergal Coughlin gives it to uh, Rio Donovan and Rio Donovan soling out the field and then giving a ball down the line as far as Owen Manning who's uh, right in the middle of the path very close to sideline gives it to Jeremy Hurley and uh, Jeremy Hurley then has uh, a massive turnover Clyde Rovers are getting in those uh, turnover belts but they're none of the tight Keneally uh, shape yet and then the uh, referee said that there was a bit of an over carrying incident there by one of the Clyde Rovers men so it's going to be a free to value Rovers and uh, by the uh, referee as Kevin Canty lobs it inside, he's going to drop on the 30 metre line, what a good catch there, and uh, this running out with the shot coming in, and Fico Lynch has been dragged out, a penalty to Valley Rovers, as Fico Lynch was boring his way there, so we now have Fico Lynch in splendid isolation, as the other protagonists are moved to one corner of the park, and uh, it's Fico Lynch, he's striking off his right foot, the kick is in, and he plays it out for a wide ball, and well I suppose it's... Uh, a vital incident nonetheless. It is indeed. I thought if I had the drive was going over the bar, but out to the right, to Fierkel's right and side and wide. That's the way it goes. Pinties are more difficult to take in football than, than soccer. They say you're a fat road, but it was a, a vital moment, definitely, buddy. 30 minutes and uh, 55 seconds gone, and with uh, just a minute of uh, um, injury time to be played, the uh, referee, Pat O'Leary from Kilbury, looks at his watch and he blows the half time whistle. Yes, indeed, the second half here of the uh, Premier Inter uh, Intermediate Football Championship has uh, recommenced. And the, for the scoreboard says after 10 second half minutes, it's three points to two in favour of Clyder Rovers. The Whites tally nine to Valley Rovers, six to uh, Clyder Rovers. And uh, But let's not fault the efforts of either side. They're making a huge effort here as Hugh O'Donovan tries to get down and tough it. He leaves it behind as far as Michael O'Brien. Good play by O'Brien. He gives it now as far as O'Donovan. O'Donovan 65 metres out and releases Kevin Canty despite the uh, shoulder injury. Canty's coming forward. Can he put it onto his right foot? He sold one dummy. Can he sell another? Then he kicks it inside. What a drive from Canty. A wonderful score from Kevin Canty. It came in the 10th minute. So Kevin Canty has broken the scoring now. Says three points apiece. Canty going in from Clyde Rovers. The ball is breaking over there. Who's going to run onto it? Can the former soccer player? A sliding tackle goes in there. And the referee... That uh, the ref or the linesman over there are judging that uh, it was a line ball, and I noticed that one of the uh, Valley Rose men is down injured, and uh, it would appear to be Ty Buck. And let me tell you, looking at uh, the Valley Rovers, uh, well, their minters and all of that certainly under pressure to uh, keep at the full 15 on the team here because quite a few of them uh, pick you up little injuries here and there. And uh, Kevin Canty uh, talked about taking this one shot and then uh, decided against it. Let's him inside and Owen Manning running into a bit of trouble and it's picked up by uh, Ty Burk there. Can Burk get it up? I wonder the second time asking. He goes to ground and there's a free in and follow the men of uh, Valley Rovers. And uh, this uh, free now to be taken by uh, Huey O'Donovan and uh, O'Donovan kicking this one. Can he put Valley Rovers into uh, the uh, lead? They uh, the led earlier on uh, when Kevin Canty pointed for them, but that was a long time ago. Sounds and looks and feels like an eternity, but Huey O'Donovan, who scored six points, I think, against Slider Rovers in the opening round of the championship, and uh, Huey O'Donovan is in the eight goal mode. Can he get over the bat? I wonder that the white flag blowing in the wind from Huey O'Donovan's effort. Injured that great hunting match on down there. And uh, five minutes to go at six points to five in favour of Castle Martyr. And they went out there, star Jimmy Smitty. It's five minutes into the second half, I should say. My apologies to you. It's uh, six points to five. Castle Martyr leading by a point. Here, Valley Rovers are leading by a point, four points to three. And uh, the ball has been won far, taken forward by Clyde Rovers by Morris O'Brien, the point to point man. He gives it to Padre Milan And Padre Milan the dairy gold employee and team captain, walking his way forward. And then he lays it off to uh, the man who came under the sub earlier on, David. Murphy and Murphy kicks an unbelievable one is it heading over the bar I wonder what a point by the substitute David Murphy has drawn parity to the sides here in uh, Parky Keeve kicking that one over in the 17th minute of the second half Valley Rovers 9 and uh, there's another sub coming on for the Valley Rovers men I think it's Stephen Manning who will be uh, shipped in as Rio Donovan coming out there he's obviously uh, working his way forward despite the fact that he's heavily bandaged and he's fouled on his own 45 metre line no need to panic yet 24 minutes in the second half and Clannacilty in the uh, Division 1 League final 
It was won by Cabaret Rangers. I can still hear them celebrating down there. They ain't any celebrating here. And the ball is gathered by Shane Nolan. Lovely pass back as far as Owen Manning. Manning giving it to Stephen Manning. Did he realise he was that close to him? And Stephen Manning has been unceremoniously dumped to the ground here. And a free out in for the Valley Rovers men as Stephen Manning came forward. A man watch Huey O'Donovan about to take this one. Five minutes to go in the Premier Intermediate Football Championship final. And he wraps it over the bar for his top pointed free. O'Donovan points it and over it goes is there more in the Rovers I wonder well let me tell you it's in front of him if he wants to use him he decides now that the pass may be a little bit over hit but Shane Nolan gets back there but it's gathered by the cloud of Rovers Gavin Carey lovely play by Carey right across to the left half back to Niall O'Malan Niall O'Malan with four minutes to go cloud of Rovers four Valley Rovers five in the evening echo sponsored intermediate premier intermediate football championship and cloud of Rovers have a lovely ball up the field towards Dylan O'Shea O'Shea gathers he's a brother around as well and his brothers after tearing through the middle but Dylan O'Shea what what a kick, what a point from Dylan O'Shea, two of the subject Clyde Rovers men, that score coming in the 27th minute, and O'Shea knocking that one over the bar, oh, we'll be on his way from uh, Alan Quirk, getting ready to strike it from the uh, 20 metre line, it heads over there, we talked about and uh, who's going to win it, it's gone out over and it's a Clyde Rovers line ball. About uh, 47 metres out, I would think. 47 metres for Clyde from the uh, Valley Rovers goal, or maybe now a little bit further when the linesman points at the exact uh, place where it exited. The line ball is taken. I think it's Oliver O'Hanlon that's coming forward to take it. And now it's Clyde Rovers. Good play by them. They get the last score. And now. Can you imagine this breaking out? It broke out as far as David Lynch. Lynch gathers it and runs into a little bit of trouble. He's been laid low. Accident and all is it. Kevin Canty is standing over this free. It's a free to Valley Rovers. Don't panic. It's just in front of their own 45 metre line. And this free to be taken. We'll come back to it in a minute. It's taken back. Alan Quirk is out the field. And Alan Quirk lets it off up towards the goal mount area. Can the ball break? It can into Shane Nolan. Can Nolan gather it? The answer is the affirmative. Nolan walk his way forward. 19 years of age. He's been forwarded there the free end. And we can tell you that with 50 minutes gone in the match, an opportunity. And Manning shoots and puts it over the bow. Oh, Stephen Manning, the long ball across. The intelligence of Nolan to pick him out. And he picked it up and over the bar. I didn't see it. It was a six points to five in favour of the uh, Valley Rovers. Yeah, who's going to gather it, I wonder? It's, uh, it's Kevin Canty. We are two minutes into injury time. Michael O'Brien has it. Valley Rovers, seven points. Clyde Rovers, six points. And I said we're in the second minute of the injury time. And the ball is across here. What is this about, I wonder? And this given away once again. I can't believe some of the stuff that we're watching here by Clyde Rovers have earned themselves a free on their own 65 metre line and a free to be taken it's on its way as Clyde Rovers come in search of that imminent equaliser and uh, an equaliser that looks right now that it could be coming his way as Dylan O'Shea remember the man that kicked the fabulous point a couple of minutes ago Clyde are trailing by one on a scoreline of seven points to six and no Leo Donovan has taken it from him he gives it out as far as Mike O'Brien to, to returns it and Mike O'Brien to Fergal Cochran Fergal Cochran up the line it goes where Huey O'Donovan gathers it to Brian Lee Han and Brian Lee Han the man running in he's been fouled and there's going to be a free out a free out to Valley Rovers can they hold on a and a free is taken backwards Alan Quirk who's played most of this game out the field and he gives a hand pass out the side as, as far as Brian Lee Han Brian Lee Han is a player behind him the player behind him is no other than David Lynch it comes now as far as Dennis Collins and Dennis Collins is walking forward with it he gets the hand pass away he's running into a little bit of trouble and uh, running down on top of it is this man Ronan Lee Han and Lee Han lets it up the line to Sean Michael Collins can Collins gather he's been bundled out over the line and there's going to be a free into Valley Rovers our Valley Rovers with the minutes of attaining senior status they are kitchen and right now the scoreboard says 6.5 in favour of Valley Rovers in the Premier Intermediate Football Championship final of 2009 a line ball to Valley Rovers to be taken by Fiqua Lynch and Lynch decides to let it inside would you believe it he's ballooned it over the bar from the sideline Lynch has ballooned it over and the kids are in on the pitch would somebody ever get them off and the uh, they're the moon tour they're trying to get them off as well 
the referee is not going to blow any whistle. There are four minutes of injury time. The last time we had Pat O'Leary, he played six minutes and 48 seconds. And he still walks it down the field. As a Clyde Rovers, they're down two points. Can't he fall? But he rises again. And then Fionn gives it out to Paddy Kassan. Paddy Kassan is tearing down. He's going to go for it. He has to go for it. And then he lays it off as an opportunity here. Valley Rovers are back defending. And uh, would it be a good time to give away a ball across now? And a shot coming in. It's saved. And does the referee blow the full time whistle? It's all over. And Valley Rovers have been crowned Premier Intermediate Football Champions of 2009.